Okay, so they say they're gonna give me a double push for speed. Hold the camera tight. Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah! Hi guys, welcome to the episode. Thanks for tuning in. You may not know that American Ninja Warrior, that physical obstacle course show, is actually taking its inspiration from Japan, a show called Sasuke Ninja Warrior, back in the 90s. It's a physical obstacle course where speed, agility, mental aptitude allows you to navigate the course and try and get great scores. We went to Forest Adventure Park in Scuba, which isn't explicitly stated as a ninja course, but it really does give you that feeling as you move through the treetops. So I'll let it all get taken away by one of the wonderful hosts there who kept us safe and made sure that we had a fantastic time. アドベンチャーコースは4コース。キャノピーコースも4コースあります。アドベンチャーコースの最後のジップスライドは100メートル滑ることができます。で、アドベンチャーコース、え、フォレストアドベンチャー筑波筑波山の中にあるので、え、関
60% of the forest as of a 2000 study are natural, accounting for old growth. Ah. And only 40% are for plantation. But that may have dropped in the interim. Okay. Ah. Huh. All right, now talking about good times before to come here just to see the park in a different way, the seasons, I'm forgetting what time of year it is now. So plum blossoms, they blossom before the sakura. And we were just told by the uh, park manager that the next place that we go to has the longest zip line and also goes over top of the, uh, the plum blossom. So we're gonna get some really cool shots from that. We're gonna do an 120p, we're gonna get deadly slow-mo, let you guys bask in the beauty of the plum blossoms. Let's do it. Course four. Longest zip line. Let's go. <laughs> no, she doesn't. It's fantastic. It's one of the hardest ones, actually. <laughs> I wasn't sure when I first arrived. Here's a new move. I'm going to do this backwards. If you get enough adventuring, I thought, will there be enough courses? And I can say with absolute certainty at this point that you will have more adventuring than you could ever even want <laughs> in a single day and then some. There's a huge variety. There's so many different types. It's not like you're doing the same thing the whole time. And there's something here for everyone that loves being terrified in trees. We have found two notable sections. We have here, I call this PlayStation Road. See the X, see the circle? Any of you guys getting the PlayStation 5? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to. And we've definitely pinpointed the most difficult challenge today. As the final and most demanding course, the fourth threw everything in its arsenal that it had against us. Demanding traversals, steep ascents, challenge after challenge calling into question, were you really worthy of the title? Treetop Ninja Warrior? <laughs> I probably wasn't. <laughs> Because every time I tried to go at speed across one of the traversals, it nearly always ended with me burning out and spinning about halfway through and having May and Dean wait patiently for me to finish. We're at the top. We made it to the top. The height. We are very high up. And there's the finish over there. We're going for it. So I'm going to bring you with me. Okay, so they say they're gonna give me a double push for speed. Hold the camera tight. Three, two, one. one. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> was this a lot of fun? Yes, absolutely it was. Was that fun only exceeded by the physical deficiency that it revealed in myself to be a ninja warrior? Yes, I would concede that that is true as well. But I regret nothing, it was an absolute blast. In February, cool day, beautiful forest, I can think a few better ways to spend your time. If you find yourself in Ibaraki, I do highly recommend. One final big thank you to Scuba Forest Adventure Park for hosting us, you guys were awesome, warm, kind, and accommodating. And for now, the clock has run out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.